So you've heard of So Rare NBA and you're wondering where to even begin. This is the beginner's tutorial for you. I myself am somewhat new to So Rare and I'm getting the hang of how to play and what tips to keep in mind. So if you're a newbie and you want to get a basic introduction to So Rare NBA, then let's jump right into it. If you haven't yet signed up for So Rare NBA, check out the link in the description. You can sign up through this link for free, and by using my referral link, it'll get you a free player card when you complete your first lineup using five purchased cards. All right, let's jump into it now and learn all about So Rare NBA. When you click the link in the description of this video, it'll take you to a landing page for So Rare that looks like this. You'll be able to then scroll down. You'll have the NBA offering in the middle of football or soccer and MLB. You'll then be able to click play now and you'll be able to sign up right then and there with an email, a username, and a password, or you can do it with a quick access via Google or Facebook. After selecting your all-star or MVP, in my case, Luka Doncic, next you will be able to reveal 20 free common cards that will be given to you just for signing up. I found that the better players were near the front and more of the utility players were near the back. Once you've revealed your team, you can then go to the SoRare website and click My Cards. There, you'll be able to view the cards that are on your team. As you can see, I have players like Luka Doncic, De'Aaron Fox, Kristaps Porzingis. And if you go down, you'll see all the way down to your lowest ranking cards down here. The way that these rankings are created is this is a 10 game average. So the last 10 games that they played it gives them this score. So obviously Luka Doncic is the top performer and Fox is also up there, similar to Porzingis. And if you go down to the bottom, you'll see some of the lower rated players. What's interesting about that though, is that if you're savvy and you go and pick up some of the lower rated players that might be having a leap this season, you can use some of your NBA knowledge to pick up some players potentially at lower prices. Now, the way to get more moments, in this case, these are all common moments. These are not buyable and sellable actually. So the way to play is you would go to the play area and you'll see that there's different challenges uh, or tournaments that are being registered currently. So these are some upcoming uh, tournaments happening now and you can see that there's the common contender and the common champion, which right away you'll be able to enter. The cool thing about this is that they are totally free. Um, in the common contender, there is a 110 point cap. So you remember before when we saw the values of players like Luka Doncic and De'Aaron Fox? This is so you can't just stack your team full of all the best players. You have to act like a manager, similar to other fantasy games, and choose a combination of role players and stars to try and get the highest scoring. In this case, the common contender, the rewards are all common cards, and currently there's just over 18,000 participants. So if I click this, I can look at the team that I created. This is obviously my B team, and the reason for that, you'll find out in a second. The reason why is because there's also the common champion tournament. In this one, the cap's a little higher. In this one, the cap is a little higher, and in this one, you can win 1,000 limited cards. Now, the limited cards are buyable and sellable, which makes things a lot more interesting. So if you were to place and you were to get lucky with a great player and a limited version of that player, you would then be able to hang on to him and play limited tournaments or sell him to other people who want to play in those limited tournaments. So this was a little more attractive to me and everybody else, because as you can see, there's over 27,000 people registered in the common champion tournament. And if we want to go look at the team that I'm fielding here, we have my MVP, Luka Doncic. We have De'Aaron Fox, Sengun, Maxi, and at the bottom there, we got bench player Yurt7 from the Miami Heat. Um, and if we click things like details, it shows you that you can only play with common cards. Um, it's within your MVP plus 120 points budget. So that means that my MVP, Luka Doncic, does not apply to my 120 points budget. 
and the games that this will be applying to are here. So today, Tuesday, October 18th, is the start of the games week. And the way the games work on So Rare NBA is from Monday to Thursday is considered a, a slate of games or a week of games. And then from Friday to Sunday is the next one. So it's basically like two slates in one calendar week. And again, if you look at the prize pool, you can see that the top 1,000 people that place will win a limited card. Uh, the top tier, though, is to the top three placings. And then it goes from tier two, tier three, tier four, tier five. And I imagine that those tiers are based on the points average of the players that you win. So besides that, there is also this function called training. And what you do with training is you enter players that are not entered in either of these tournaments for them to basically gain little percentage boosters or XP. So what I did was I clicked there and I entered in players that were not in either of my lineups just so that they could gain some XP. Now at any time, if I want to, I can go back at my lineups in either of these two and edit it. I can go back and look at my lineup and say, you know what, maybe I don't want Omer Yurt 7. So I would click him. Well, actually now I can't because all my players are training, but I would click the player I don't want. You'd see the players on the left and you'd be able to replace them. The other tournaments that you can enter into coming soon are Limited Contender, Limited Champion, Rare Contender, Rare Champion, Super Rare, and Unique. So this, these are for the deeper pockets, people. And you can see that by playing in a Limited Contender tournament, you can win limited cards. If you play in the Limited Champion, then you can also win the Rare cards. So what's interesting in this way is that you can kind of level up gradually which is pretty interesting. Um, so what else should we cover here? Let's take a look at the market. So these tournaments haven't started yet. However, you can already start to purchase them. So if you go to market, there's not going to be any manager sales because this platform just started today. However, there are new card auctions and you can see right here scarcity. You can see that limited is less scarce than rare, which is less scarce than super rare, which is less scarce than unique. At the, at the moment, these little numbers in here are actually how many are for sale. And these sales happen by auction. So you can see that this is a rookie. He has a score of zero because he doesn't have 10 games that he's played. This is Blake Griffin and it's a rare and currently the bid is $427.50 with 27 seconds to go and 50 people bidding. So why don't we look at it live? Let's see. Let's see who's going to win this. It looks like this guy Jazz7775 versus Street Soccer are going at it and looks like Street Soccer does not want to bid more than 403 euros. Let's see. Maybe he will. But anyhow, Blake Griffin that's a player, it's out of 1,000 because it's a rare card. You can see on the player card, it shows you the player, their position, the year, that's the rarity. It's the number one serial, which is maybe why people wanna pay more. Although I think that just is intrinsic value. I don't think there's anything beyond that. Um, but that auction looks like it just finished. And you can see here, there's other players here as well that you can purchase. And if you know your hoops, then maybe, maybe you're able to grab someone at a value better than someone else would consider. Now it's hard to tell because this is literally the first day of action. So it's hard to tell what is undervalued or overvalued. It's incredibly difficult to tell considering we only have, considering that this is the first day of action. So as you can see, there are some auctions that are finishing right now. Um, Bones Island is a great young player on the Nuggets. Harrison Barnes, a solid veteran on the Kings, etc. And so to play in those tournaments, like we talked about, you need those kind of players. If you play in a limited contender tournament, you need limited contender moments. And actually, if we break down what moments you need to play in each, in a common uh, tournament, you just need common moments. In a limited tournament, you need all limited moments. In a rare, you need at least three rares plus two limiteds. 
In a super rare, you need at least three super rares plus two rares. And in a unique, you need at least two of those high priced uniques and three super rares. So you can see it's a gradual scale for our entry into these tournaments. Now, the next thing we can look at is scoring. How does scoring work? Well, you saw that those numbers on the players gave you a certain score. And like other fantasy products and other fantasy tournaments, you can see how scoring is calculated. So one point for points, 1.2 for rebounds, 1.5 for assists, three points for blocks, three points for steals, minus two points for turnovers, one for made threes, one point for double-double, and one point for triple-double. So there you go. That explains the scoring system. Now, what's interesting about the 10 game average is that sometimes NBA players might sit out a game or sometimes NBA players might have a really strong game and then a really bad game. So that this levels it out. It literally averages it out. So when you take a player like Kawhi Leonard or LeBron James who might be sitting certain games, you won't get penalized for the fact that they're sitting. That's what's interesting to me about this 10 game average and what makes it a little more fair or just for the NBA. I want to keep this video short and sweet, but if you subscribe to this channel, if you haven't already, then I can promise you we will have people come on and talk more about more advanced concepts in so rare NBA. And this is coming from a guy that's not a big NBA fantasy player. I just think that this platform is pretty interesting and I appreciate that they reached out to partner with me. So if you are interested in playing so rare NBA, let me know in the comments and let's see what comes of this platform.